Hi, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial that was a little more natural. I kind of want to start doing a little more of like a dewy, natural beat on the face rather than having such a heavy like foundation, contour, powders, this, that. Okay, so it's 2020, new year, new you, okay? We're doing this natural. Just like a little, this is my face. Take it or leave it, you know? So if you want to see this natural look, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm kind of tired of like a heavy beat on the face. I'm more of the vibe right now going into 2020 of like, I just want dewy luminous skin. I want to not look like I'm wearing any makeup. I want to barely have anything on my face. I want to wear the least amount of powders. I just want to glow. So that's what we're going to do today instead of doing a black glossy smoky eye like I was going to do. So for my face, what I want to do is first go in with my Tom Ford stick and conceal any little dots that just need a little more coverage or like for example my melasma right here I'm gonna just go in and cover that with this but not put this on the whole face and then we're gonna just use our Armani luminous silk to do our whole face so just like a little dot here a little dot here here a little coverage here on the melasma a little here just kinda like spot concealing with this so that's all we're going to use of the Tom Ford foundation stick and this is the shade 6.5 Sable. And then I'm going to just take my Armani Luminous Silk, I'm also 6.5 in this, and just get a little bit on the beauty blender and just blend this all out. The Armani Luminous Silk is super natural and like glowy but you can get coverage out of it. I don't know, I just want to switch it up for 2020, I'm kind of tired of doing like a full face. I mean here's the thing. I have no balance in anything in life. How you do one thing is how you do everything. So basically, um, I either look homeless, like not a stitch of makeup, maybe just a tinted sunscreen, or I'm doing full beat. And I kind of just want to like leave the full beat to maybe like, I don't know, photo shoots or just like special events, things that I need it to like last all day. But if I'm going to do a beat, if I'm just like going somewhere, I just kind of want it to be natural. I just want to look like, you know, you can see my skin showing through. Even though my skin is not in the best place right now, I don't really care. It's 2020, so I'm trying to, you know, let go of like what other people think, how I feel other people think of me. New year, new me, okay? So even if my skin is not perfect, I just want to do like a nice natural glam. Just keep it super bronzy, super glowy, just natural, but still look really put together, really beat. You can also add more of the Armani Luminous Silk if you want a little more coverage. So say you need coverage through here or through here, just add another layer and just dab it on like this and you'll get more coverage with it. This camera really kind of has me like blown out. So I look a lot lighter. I think it's like picking up on the backdrop, but this is really pretty and just like really natural. I can see all my skin texture I can see every little freckle everything going on but I kind of like it I just want to look natural okay natural as natural as you can be with 79 layers of makeup and if you've gone through and done your layers of the Armani Luma silk or whatever natural foundation you're using and you feel like wow like I need this little more covered I need this more covered you can also do the Tom Ford stick do another layer I just have like a few little marks of like blemishes that are going away. You can also choose to just do the Armani Luminous Silk first and then spot conceal second with the stick. You can also use your concealer to spot conceal. You don't have to have a foundation stick as well. Okay, I'm gonna next go in with my concealer. Even though it's natural, I'm gonna use my same Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I'm just gonna use a little less and maybe not drag it down as much when I do like the huge V shape. Like you do want to be super covered and contoured and sculpted, but I just don't want to do a lot. So I'm going to take my Fenty little sponge. I'm just tapping this. We just want it to be like really seamless. Because if you are going to do a natural foundation, you don't want it to like be super heavy here and then light here. It's going to look really weird. Now that the concealer is on, I feel like it looks so good. It's a lot more like natural but still super flawless. 
So then, um, I just really want to try to do as many creams as I can on my face as opposed to like powders. I am going to do a little bit of powder, but I want to do the Charlotte Tilbury Contour one in the shade Medium Dark. This one, I swear, it just blends in so beautifully with the skin. It is like pretty dark, but it blends out perfectly. So I'm going to take my beauty blender I did my foundation with. I'm just going to squeeze this and I'm just going to blend out the contour. I like to just do like one layer first. And kind of like absorb the excess on here. Then once I have it semi-blended, then I can go in and it's already like in the beauty blender. So it's not going to pick it up. It's going to just keep it on your face. And I'm just going to tap this on. I'm going to take this little Morphe brush. This is E62 and I'm going to just blend the nose contour. And then take my beauty blender and just tap it on the sides. It's like nice to use the sides for your nose because it's long and you just do a few taps. I'm going to use my Fenty sponge that I blended my concealer with and I'm just going to go on the little edges and make sure the contour is really blended. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury highlight wand in Spotlight. I'm just going to do a little of this on top of the cheekbones and down the nose. Just a little here, here where you would normally highlight with your concealer. And then I like to take the back of my little sponge I did my concealer with and just press this in. You wanna work fast with this to make sure it doesn't dry in the little pattern that you put it on in. And with the lights hitting it, it looks like super glowy, but in person it's like you can't even see. It just looks like your skin is like glowing from within. So I'm done with the creams on my face. I want to use the least amount of powders as possible. So I do need to set my under eyes. So I'm going to use my typical N4 Studio Fix powder by MAC. And I'm just going to like press it in very lightly. I think I'm going to use a fluffier brush so less powder goes on. So I'm going to use this brush. This is the Jaclyn J01 from Jaclyn Cosmetics. It's pretty dense and fluffy. I really like this. So I'm going to just take the powder. And I'm just going to tap. So this is like putting it on there, but not as heavy as I normally do. So it's setting it, but you won't see a lot of powder. So I'm then just going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Floss Finish Powder in the shade 2. And I'm going to just lightly press that in the places where I would normally get shiny or oily. So I'm taking my Morphe brush. This is the E. Five, three. Just getting a little bit on here and tapping it off. I'm going to put it here on my cheeks, on the nose, the center of the forehead, center of the chin, and just the sides of the nose. I'm going to do a little bit on the cheek area where I'm going to do the blush and the bronzer just so that the powders don't grab to the creams and it makes it look kind of patchy. So I'm just tapping this. So I'm going to take my bronzer, this is the matte Gave Me Sun, and I'm going to use a smaller brush today. I'm going to do the Smashbox slanted brush, and I just want to warm up the face, but I'm applying like the smallest amount of pressure that I possibly can, because I just want it to be really blended. I don't want any hard edges on my cheeks, so I'm just going in a circular motion and just pressing a lot lighter. So I'm then going to take the little Cheek Leaders palette like I normally do, and use that same slanted brush and just do the tiniest amount here to contour. It is kind of like I'm doing the same steps and using the same products that I always do when I do the full glam, but I'm basically just changing the technique. So I'm going a lot lighter, I'm using a lot less product, and just kind of like doing it a little more natural. I'm gonna take a little smaller brush and just go down the sides of the nose a little bit. I want the nose contour to be natural, so I'm gonna take my small brush that I normally set my under eyes with, and I'm just gonna flick it up with a little powder so that it's blended. And then while I'm here, I'm going to take the shade Hula and do this in my crease. This is going to be like super diffused and natural. And I'm also going to do this underneath. This brush is super fluffy, so it's not going to put a lot. It's just to create a little shadow. And then while I'm here also, I'm going to use the shade Cookie and just do this in the inner corners. I love using this little Morphe brush for the inner corners. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40. 
I'm just going to use a tiny bit. Just highlight here. I know I'm like hopping around a little bit, but it's like, well, I have the product out. Why not? Do a little under the brow. So we just have two steps left for the face, and then we're done with the face. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder in the shade Carrots. So this can be used all over. It can also be used as a natural highlight all over, or it can be used as a setting powder. So we're just going to use this mostly through here. I'm going to take my larger Morphe brush because I don't want to put it in like a specific area. And then I take a little bit in the cap, mix it around. Then I'm just going to do like this. So lastly, I'm going to use my NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm going to use a bigger brush. I'm going to use that same brush we just used. And take this and just focus it on the apples only. I'm going to just take a little tap of my MAC 4 Power. And I just want to kind of like make this a little more matte so the pores don't show up. So I'm just going to take the smallest amount and just press it here. Let's set with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So for my brows, I want to do them a little more natural, a little more bushy. I'm going to use my Lorac Pro Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just going to just use a MAC Slanted Brush to fill them in. So I'm going to use the shade Taupe. It is this one here. And my eyebrows are pretty full, so I just kind of like want to just fill in the little patches. So I like to just go upwards and front. Then go to the side as I go this way. I like to make sure it's a little full up here because for some reason the hairs are like lighter and they go down so you can't see them. Then I'm going to just set it with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And this will make it look a lot bushier. I like to just go up in every direction and then out on the ends. And then if it looks like this, because I need to get them trimmed like too long, I take the brush and I just like lightly pull across and it kind of puts them back into place. So that's how that looks. And now let's do the other side. Okay, so that's my natural brows. So for the eyes, I already did my bronzer in the crease. So I just want to do something like light and shimmery, like a champagne color on the lid and then just some mascara. So I'm going to use my favorite Natasha Denona palette. This is the Cranberry palette. And I love going in because they have the best shades. So I love using this champagne color and then this kind of like corally orange. So I think I'm going to do this one first and then this one over top. I'm going to just use this longer flat brush. The first shade I'm using is called Botanic. It's this coral peachy one. So it comes off with like pink reflex. But the color is more of like a peachy orange. That's how it looks first. Just doing the other side with that. Then I'm gonna go over top with Nude. And it's gonna just make it a little more muted. I'm gonna take my matte crease brush and the Lorac Pro Palette we just use for our brows. And I'm just gonna go in with the shade Taupe that we use on our brows. And I'm gonna put this in the crease. So now that our natural eye is done, I'm going to take the MAC Extended Play and just do my bottom mascara. Okay, I did my bottom mascara. I put a little bit on the outer parts of the lash extensions just because sometimes the eyeshadow drops on them. Lastly, we just have our lips to do and then we're done. I'm going to do my little Patrick Ta combo today. So the liner is Patrick Ta and it's in the shade She's Bold. And I've shown this before, it's rose gold and you can click it up instead of sharpening it. It's amazing. I just want the lips to be like nude, but still pop. So this is the liner, I love it so much. I'm gonna take the Patrick Ta Silky Lip Cream. This is in She's Independent. I've shown this before, I absolutely love this. It's kind of like a liquid matte, but it's not matte. It gives you like a nice sheen, but it stays all day. This is like the best nude ever. I love the applicator too, it's that little slant. 
We're gonna use the Patrick Ta gloss. She's expensive to top this off. I'm just gonna take a little on my finger. And we're just gonna put this in the center of the lip. So this is the final look. I hope that you guys like the more natural beat. This is something that I wanna start doing. I wanna wear a lot less on my face and look just like a lot more dewy and maybe even get away from the powders completely. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like the video and subscribe before you leave. Bye.